What if I told you that size does not matter? That a small private school can compete. That an unproven coach and a team on the verge of greatness can capture a nation by storm. For a school that size to finish number one in the country, undefeated in the regular season, it's just unprecedented. They had a number one player, the number one coach, and when you think about the facilities that they had and the things that they had to overcome, I really don't think we're ever going to see anything like that again. His decision, like his game, was mature, poised, and sound. I'm not out here starving for money. You know, my family's providing me with everything I need, and uh, that's it. I knew we were going to have a good team and, and we, you know, become something special here at St. Joe's. St. Joe's is one game away from the Final Four. In a day and age where everybody wants to be noticed, this kid would like to go out and play basketball and leave. And if at the end of the day you realize that he was the best player and he is the best player in college basketball today, so be it, but that's not why he's there. He's there for his team to win and for your team to lose. He's not going to do it with his mouth, he's going to do it with his play. I've seen over 900 St. Joe basketball games, and I had never seen a team play at the level that they were playing, scoring with really beautifully eye-pleasing basketball, like ball movement and open shots, extra pass, unselfish. 30 stories, 30 filmmakers, 30 years. ESPN's critically acclaimed 30 for 30, presented by Levi's. Tuesday at 8 p.m. 